the uh, mantra that we kept saying was we want to take the celebration of Atlanta's streets to the streets. And the idea for the truck was born. So we were brainstorming different things and we had the idea to buy a bread truck and turn it into an art gallery. Kind of a food truck for photography. To me, this project is a testament to what happens when people connect through social media but then get together outside of social media and start to do something special. By far, the best part of what we do um, is having people that have taken pictures and submitted photos come into the gallery and see their picture hanging on the wall. Um, most of these people, I would say 90% of these people have never been hung in a gallery and might not ever get a chance to be hung in a gallery. So for everyday people like us that aren't probably going to get hung in the High Museum, to be able to be hung in a gallery and the opportunity to sell that print, it is awesome to watch. This whole process is not about like having a stuffy gallery that we're taking around. It's about letting people in to the gallery process and letting people into the celebration. Uh, when other people come into the truck, they look around and they go, wow, I can do this too. Like I can submit a photo uh, to the hashtag and, and be up here two weeks from now. It's funny because we all live in, together in the same community, but we all see it in a completely different, unique way. And I feel like Instagram does a great job of being able to capture moments that you would never be able to capture otherwise. Finding a photo put on here. <laughs> Should we do it right now? There we go. It's official. We've had, I think, about 27,000 photos in the last year. Um, we actually get about 600 to 1,000 images a week. Um, we go through them all, um, and we each individually pick our favorites. Uh, and then once we get that selection together, we contact the artists, get them to uh, submit the photos back to us. Um, and basically they're donating a single use of their image for the Atlanta Community Food Bank. 100% of the proceeds of what we sell goes to the Atlanta Community Food Bank and that's why we do what we do at the very core of it. We're bringing kind of art and culture and charity together. Um, there's a lot of talented people out there and I think if you get on the truck and you look around and you say, man, all these pictures were pretty much taken with mobile phones, you'll see the talent that's in Atlanta and we want to highlight that. We want to highlight the artists of Atlanta um, and then again, raise money for a good cause. So, so a 10 by 10, for example, is, uh, is $50. Um, the food bank, with every dollar, can feed four people. What you have here is an Atlanta photographer who's taken in a picture that inspires them about the city. We print it out, someone else buys it, and that feeds 200 people on the city streets. And like for me, it's that sort of connectivity that is really, really special about this project. What, what people were doing with, with iPhones, I mean, just getting on getting on Instagram, looking around and seeing what people were doing with, from just taking the pictures to editing the pictures, um, it's just shown that like anybody can take pictures and make beautiful art um, of their city. I mean, we're doing it in Atlanta and we hope that it starts to spread all over the country because we love the idea of celebrating your city. That's what we've realized throughout this project is how much pride people have for their city. This is like the people of the cities telling what they love about the cities. And I think that's where you get the truest representation of it.